Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install all of the dependencies that we need for our project. Now the first one is going to be Axios, then SWR, then Terminal. So open up your terminal. Right, so in order to install Axios, all we have to do is we do npm. So if you use yarn, it's a little bit different, but npm install Axios. That's all we have to do. Then you press enter. As you can see, it's installing it, so it's all done. The next one that we need is npm install swr. Okay, so that's another one that we need. So you press enter. As you can see, it's going to install it as well. So it's finished. And the last one is for Tailwind. All right, just open up your browser for Tailwind installation. It's quite a nice little process that we can follow in Tailwind in order to install it in Next.js. So as you can see, just type in Tailwind Next.js. So if we type that, as you can see, installing Tailwind CSS with Next.js, just click on that. So inside Tailwind right here, you will see installing Tailwind with Next.js right there. Okay, so it's quite easy. We already created the project. We're inside the project. So now what we will do is we will do npm install. Just copy everything right there. And in your terminal, we paste it in and then we press enter. Okay, so that's going to do its things and install it as well. Right, so it's finished installation. The next one that we need to do is copy and paste as well. All right, so it will create a Tailwind config file. So just copy this part. All right, so basically what this will do, it will create this tailwind.convict.js. Just copy that, and then we press Enter. So as you can see, it will create this Tailwind config right here. So this one. All right, so we don't even have to add, uh, basically type anything out here. We can just basically do the same thing. We're just going to copy and paste. So all we have to do, go to Tailwind again. Just copy this part right there, everything. So it just needs to check for JavaScript files, TypeScript, JSX, and T, TypeScript, SX. That's all it is. Just copy all of that. No, not all of this. Or we can just press this icon right there. So just copy it and come in our config file. Just copy everything and that's it. All done. Now Tailwind is almost finished. So let's just close this file. And inside our styles and our global CSS right here, just at the top right here, we're just going to go back once more. Right, then we're just going to copy this Tailwind base and components and utilities, copy all of that, paste it in there, and then we all set up. Right, so in order to make use of it, all we have to do now is we can just obviously start up a local server, npm run dev, but we're not going to do that yet, but you can if you want to because there's a couple of things that I still want to set up. All right, so the next in the next episode, what we will do is we will add pretty a file right here. So if we want to format our code, instead of double quotes, single quotes, instead of adding semicolons, sort of move them, all that kind of stuff, you can decide how you want to obviously set up your project, but I want to do that in the next episode. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Do all the YouTube stuff and see you in the next one. Adios.